Good morning, I'm Gerhard Mathingani with today's Sports Brief. Hard to believe, but the college basketball season gets underway tonight. A big in-state battle highlights the slate in our state. Jacksonville State will make the trip to Tuscaloosa to face number 25 Alabama. The Gamecocks and Tide have an interesting dynamic to their teams this year. JSU will have a mix of new players and returning starters. Meanwhile, Alabama returns several players, including leading scorer John Petty. I think it speaks to what our players have been doing. You know, when Petty came back, I didn't even realize until a couple of weeks ago, somebody had me on a podcast. We, we've got the two leading return scorers in the SEC and Petty and Shackelford. So then you add in a guy like Herb Jones, who I think's got a chance to be first team all league. And, you know, you add the recruiting class and some guys got healthy or eligible with Quinterly and Rojas. You know, Bruners played. That's the other thing, too. We've only got four returners that played in games, but they were all pretty good players. And then some of the guys added to those four are are veteran or older guys. So it's not like we, you know, added eight freshmen to go with those four guys. Like we've got a pretty good mix of everything. Oates also talked about the landscape of college basketball as a whole. More than 30 games have already been postponed or canceled for today's slate alone. It's a little concerning. I, I hope we can figure it out. I will say this. It's going to be really hard to have a season if everybody in the country decides they're going to shut down for two weeks with one positive. I, I, I don't know how you're going to play a season. Again, I'm not a doctor. I don't have the answers to everything. But shutting everything down for one positive for two weeks, one guy gets it. Two weeks later, another guy gets it. Two weeks later, another guy gets it. All of a sudden, you can't play a game. So they're going to have to figure this out a little bit better, in my opinion. But, look, Jacksonville State's coming. They're ready to play. I texted with Ray Harper yesterday when they changed the game time. He's, he's a guy that just wants to play games. I want to play games. I, at this point, I don't care who it is we play, where it is we play. Any, like, we just need to play. The Gamecocks and Tide tip off at 7 o'clock on the SEC Network. Moving to football, the Titan Tigers continue their preparations for the Iron Bowl this weekend. Now, even in a very odd year, a few things remain the same. The Iron Bowl once again set for the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and the rivalry still means everything to both squads. It, it, it's in a, uh, a normal game. I mean, this is the Iron Bowl. And uh, like I said, this game, I, I first coached in this game in 2009 as a coordinator. Uh, people would tell me what it was like and this. and. You've got to experience it to, to fully understand it and get a grasp of it, and it changes you. And I know after that first year, it changed me. And uh, this is something that here at Auburn, I know me personally, I think about it 365 days a year. I know this was something special um, based on the anticipation for the game. Before the week even started, you know, we was talking about, we always have a thing we talk about, which your record against Tennessee, which your record in the national championship. And wish a record against Auburn, and you know, it's one of the biggest rivalries in college football, and the most anticipated rivalries. So, you know, I expect it. I expect it to be to be that way. The Iron Bowl is set for Saturday at 2:30 at Bryant Denny Stadium, and that wraps up your sports brief. Our program continues next.